Hey, Hanover County, I'm Jacob Kessler, and I'm here with Trey Lyle. We're here at Hanover High School for the basketball game between the Lee Davis Confederates and the Hanover Hawks. Now, earlier in the year, the Hawks stole one from the Confederates by one point, came down the last free throw at Lee Davis, and Lee Davis wants nothing but revenge tonight at Hanover High School. Yeah, Jacob, that was a great game. Hanover fans in the Hawks Nest are treating to a silent night, and the Lee Davis Asylum is uh, Hawaiian out, and trust me, they're going to be loud, Jacob. Uh, this is going to be a great game, all for county pride and some momentum going into conference play. So let's go to the first half. Thank you very much, Trey and Jacob. And here we go with your county showdown out at Hanover High School, the Lee Davis Confederates visiting the Hanover Hawks. And here we go with your highlights from this big matchup. That's Lee Davis's Keydrell Gray with a nice basket. The Lee Davis Confederates off to a good start in this game. That shot is off, but Sam Tanner is there to make the rebound, and he puts it up for two. And then more from Keydrell Gray here. From way out, he hits another three-pointer. Gray on fire early in this one, as he's gonna hit yet another three-point basket from way out. Nice shot right there for Keydrell Gray. Hanover getting some help here from Zach Winston. There's a nice basket for the Hawks. And then Jason Wade coming up here as he puts that one up for two points. And Lee Davis would lead this one by three points at the end of the first quarter. Now we go to the second quarter with the score 11 to nine. Jason Wade scores Hanover's 10th point on a free throw. It was the silent night game. And that means the crowd goes absolutely crazy when the home team scores their 10th point. And that's what happened right there as Jason Wade hit that free throw. More Jason Wade right there with a nice basket. And then Lee Davis would make some big plays before halftime in this one. Cole Schlothauer with a nice basket right there. And then Irving Jones coming up here with the nice shot. That drops in for two more. And then a nice play for Lee Davis on the way. Keydrell Gray with the pass to Sam Tanner. And Tanner puts that one up for two. And then at the halftime buzzer, Sam Tanner gets the shot off. And that's good for two more. Huge play for Sam Tanner just before halftime right there. Lee Davis up by five points. At halftime, they would lead it 23 to 17. Welcome back, Hanover County. Uh, the score is 23 to 17, Lee Davis. Lee Davis came out hot in that first half. And Hanover's trailing right behind them. Jacob, what do you think about the game so far? Well, it's been a hype game up in the asylum. Everyone's feeling so tropical up there. And I feel like Hanover's going to need to do something special in the second half to come back. Well, Hanover, we got a special correspondent here, special guest live from the stands. We have Mr. Sam Haney. Sam, how do you think the game's going? Uh, it's going really well. We have uh, Kijo Gray really hot on offense, and Sam Carter's holding us up with the rebounds. We're really looking forward to a good second half and coming out with a win here at the Hawks. That's a smart man about Lee Davis basketball. Let's go to the second half. Booyah. All right, guys, here we go to the second half. That's Hanover's Alan Dabney making a nice basket for the Hawks. Then Lee Davis's Chris Bundy right here with two for the Confederates. And then another big play for Lee Davis, Nick Risenweaver with the pass to Sam Tanner, and he makes the nice basket. But don't count the Hawks out. They would get right back into it. Nick Zona from way out. He hits a big three-pointer. And then Jason Wade coming up here with the nice shot for the Hawks. Zona coming up here with another nice basket for Hanover. This one back and forth here in the second half. Irving Jones with a huge three-pointer from the outside. Big play for Lee Davis and the Confederates up by two points. As we go to the final quarter in this one, Jason Wade with another nice shot for the Hawks right there. And then Nick Zona taking that one to the hoop. That's good for two more. And then Alan Dabney here with a huge play with the basket, and he's fouled. That's a tremendous play for the Hanover Hawks late in this game. More Lee Davis coming up right here. More from Keydrell Gray. The outside shooting would continue for him as he hits a big three. And then Chris Bundy with the basket. And then check this out, folks. Hanover up by three points with 16 seconds left. Last chance for Lee Davis. They need to hit a three. They give the ball to Keydrell Gray, but the shot is just off at the buzzer. And that is how this game would end. An unbelievable finish out at Hanover High School as the Hawks defeat the Confederates by a final score of 52 to 49. An instant classic out there. Congratulations to the Hawks. And we caught up with Alan Dabney, Jason Wade, as well as Coach Thornton after this big game. My bro Jason came through in clutch with the free throws. You know, last game he came through clutch too with the game winning free throws. So had to pin on Jason tonight. I expected a lot of energy. Had uh, both student sections out here supporting their team. Uh, but it was just a great team win tonight. Um, uh, like he said, came through at the end with free throws, but it wouldn't have gotten to that point if my team hadn't played hard like they did. So 
thankful for that. We just knew we had to battle down and um, rebound. Um, rebounding was key down the stretch um, and also making free throws and um, just trying to get stops on defense. Um, I thought we had a great effort on defense, guys helping one another and guys stepping up and taking on that challenge. Student body was great tonight, uh, especially um, Coach Just really organized it and helped us out um, uh, tremendously um, getting the crowd and getting the student body to support us and stuff. Um, we really love playing in this atmosphere. Um, so I just hope it continues to grow and that the student body keeps supporting us.